Hello there, it's Suzanne Doyle Ingram here, and I just wanted to show you a really great tool that you might like to know about for writing your outline for your book. Now you can also use this for writing an outline for a blog post or you know a course you're putting together or a workshop that you want to do, or it's just it's just a really great tool. It's called FreeMind. You can see it up here, F-R-E-E-M-I-N-D, FreeMind, and you can um, find that online for free. Just Google download free mind and you can download it to your computer. It's totally free and it's great. So I just wanted to give you an idea of how it works. So I was putting together uh, my free course called how to write a business book and it has 10 different modules. So the first one is purpose and then plan and then target audience, outline, expanding your outline, images, writing, editing and proofreading and I have to add two more onto here so I just hit enter enter and then the um, ninth one was how to what was that again <laughs> how to upload or let's say how to list list your book on Amazon hit enter and then enter again and you'll put something underneath here um, how to order copies okay so then what I want to do is um, show you how you can do like a child idea because under purpose if you cl if I click right here I've got do and get and that just reminds me of what I want to say okay so under purpose I'm going to explain you know what do you want your book to do for you and how you know the difference between writing a best-selling book and writing a book that's not a bestseller but can actually make you more money than a bestseller and the reasons why and if you want to find out more then get my free course that's available on my website at SuzanneDoyleIngram.com and then underneath that I've got get um, what basically what do you want your readers to get out of your book you need to think about that when you're looking at your purpose and then we've got plan how to plan um, when you're going to write and when you want your book finished and I'm just going through this quickly because really all I'm showing you is how to write an outline <laughs> so this is just to give you an idea so we've got stuff about the target audience um, stuff about your outline you can see there's all these sort of child nodes underneath right like this and then so how you do that is you hover over a box like this box I'm hovering over right now says writing when I'm somewhere else then that one turns gray but the one I'm hovering over turns gray so you just hover over you don't need to click on it or anything and then I go up here to the idea light bulb thing and click on that and then um, we write your idea in here so um, finding time to write and then you hit enter and then again you've got this other node right underneath it um, finding time to write uh, making it a priority that kind of thing I can't really talk and spell at the same time. Priority. There we go. Then hit just enter. And then again, if you hit an enter again, you're going to get another, you know, node. If you don't want that one, hit delete. And the little box comes up. Do you really want to delete it? You hit yes. Okay. And then there's, um, obviously I could go on and, you know, do these things as well. But I think you kind of have the idea The the main things you really need to to know how to do is how to add on another node so what you can do is right click and go um, new child node or new sibling node okay so let me show you what that is the first ones down are the child nodes and the sibling node would be right under here so let's let's put that there uh, let's do a new sibling node and you'll see what I mean so that goes right next to there and that's something like maybe you want to have um, you know um, book number two or something and you want to have uh, the other ideas that are going to go in here right or you might want to have um, a video course that goes along with your outline or whatever whatever you want to do here okay um, so this is a great tool to have you can add in all these little markers like say for example I'm putting together this this um, course right now maybe what I want to do is hover over here and click on this little green check mark because that modules already done okay oh but I still have to do this one and I need to do you know let's say I need to do some more research or I need to contact someone about that I'm gonna put this little you know 
important um, little icon here. So that gives you an idea about how to do icons. If you want to get rid of every single icon anywhere, then you just hit the trash can. If you just want to get rid of the last one, hit the X, okay? And that got rid of the one that was there. If I hit it again, it'll get rid of the one that's over by purpose, okay? So you can add them in, you can take them out. Uh, another thing is up here in format, if I want to do something to the format, I really like these bubbles, but some people don't like them. And so if you hit control A to select everything on the page, or I think it's the, the, the Mac button, command A, um, it'll control everything. So hit control A. Now you can see everything is selected because everything is gray. So under format, you can change the formatting and you could do uh, like a fork style like that instead of bubbles, right? Um, control A again, and we're going to go back to the bubbles because I like the bubbles. <laughs> um, you can change the, you know, the font, uh, the the larger font, smaller font. You can change the node color, the blend color, the background color. There's lots of things you can do. But I caution you, don't spend too much time prettying this thing up because what you really need to do is work on your outline, right? Okay, and once your outline is done, it's it's really easy to um, start writing your book. Okay, so again, uh, hopefully this is helpful to you. When you start a brand new project, let me just click new. What happens is it says new mind map. If you want to move it over, just click somewhere nearby, but don't click on it because it doesn't work. Okay, click somewhere nearby and pull around, and then you've got your new mind map. Okay, so this we're going to call. Uh, testing. Oops. <laughs> a little excited there. Okay, testing. And then we're going to have a um, new child mode node, sorry, um, idea one. And then enter, enter, idea two, enter, enter, idea three, enter, enter. Right? So this is um, so easy to do. And then under these ones, we'll highlight that one and we do a little you could do the light bulb there and you could say um, whatever sample one enter enter sample two okay so hopefully I'm just using my enter button it's really easy um, hopefully this will work for you too and uh, it's free like I said and some people are really visual this you know might work for you because you're a visual person I'm kind of like that I in some ways I'm not visual at all like when I had an interior designer help us design our backyard I could not have I couldn't understand sorry uh, this is I couldn't understand, I couldn't visualize what she was talking about. So, but once she came to me with the plans all done, then I could see, okay, this is perfect. This is what I, this is ex more than what I wanted. It was amazing. So this works for me very well because I can see what parts need to be worked on more than other parts. And anyway, I hope it works for you. If you have any questions, just email me uh, or you can go to my website, SuzanneDoyleIngram.com. Take care and have a great day.